So, my name is Nick, and I will be talking about Chapter 7.5, Content Delivery. So, in terms of the early content delivery, the internet used to consist of only the telephone network, and people would communicate with each other through their telephones in their homes, and that was the main form originally. Then uh, people, people used email to communicate with each other for a very long time. Email, with the boom of the internet, email became a big form of talking with each other through um, electronic mail or email, and um, that was how they would communicate. If you're in where you're working or you with a relative, you could email them whenever. And people still use email today. Um, then people started moving to video calls and especially in today, today's day, people will use Zoom or um, other uh, forms of like conferencing calls with videos to, um, to communicate with each other. But today it's more than that and the internet has grown and it's all about content and entertainment than communication. And with that, the internet, there's so much information and it's so easy to look up a question that you have or information that you need answered and lots of people will use the internet. I mean, everyone uses the internet, I'm, I'm sure, to look up uh, whatever they, whatever questions they have or to, if they need to find out information, then that is the main thing. Um, the majority of the uh, internet, internet bandwidth, bandwidth is now for videos now, too, too and content. content. Here's a, um, one, one of the content scenarios, scenarios for, for if someone wants to stream a basketball game. game. Um, the, the device doesn't, doesn't matter as much as it did um, before you have, have to watch it on a TV, and you could be sitting down in one spot, and you have to... Uh, that's the main form of how you would watch a basketball game is on TV. But now, um, the device doesn't really matter as much now. You can use your phone or a computer and stream the game. Um, and as long as the device has service, you, you are able to stream it. Um, location isn't a factor for watching content. Uh, however, it may affect uh, performance um, if it's not connected to the internet, or if it has a hard time connecting, then it, it will affect the performance or quality of your stream. Um, so the rise of platforms. In recent years, there have been many sites or platforms that have become popular in distributing content. YouTube is a uh, big example of that um, for sharing videos and um, so, so many, many people, people watch YouTube, YouTube videos every day, day and that it, a, a lot, lot of the popular, popular ones will, will be getting um, a lot of views, millions of views in, um, in a matter of days or a single day. So it, it reaches a lot of people. Um, there are limitless videos with so many different ideas and um, you can look up a video for anything and something will come up, I'm sure. Um, and, and sometimes people, people learn better with videos, too, too instead of reading. Um, I know for me, I like, uh, I'm a, like a more visual learner, and some videos will have um, a video with like animations or d like pictures describing how something works or talking about something that is uh, important that I need to find out. Um, yeah, yeah, YouTube's, YouTube's a giant, giant one, and it, and it takes up a, about 10% of the uh, internet's traffic today, which which shows how popular some of the, these bigger platforms are. Um, big content platforms will have their own um, CDN or content distribution networks to keep up with the demand of uh, the content that people consume every day. So a CDN or a content distribution network um, 
This, this is uh, basically, basically showing how everyone's, everyone's connected, connected to and, and watching videos or content in many, many different forms. forms. There's like a, a, a tablet or like an iPad, TV, um, or a desktop. And a CDN is a type of architecture that um, a provider will set up, um, where a provider will set up a distributed collection of machines or computers and use them to serve content. Many large content uh, providers will do this for the for big platforms like YouTube or um, any of the other giant uh, uh, content platforms. When using a CDN, it will make uh, your, uh, your website perform faster. Um, that is one of the benefits of using a CDN. And since server locations are not directly connecting to each other, it makes for an increase in security for your platform. Another type of architecture is the peer-to-peer, -peer, which you can see here. And there will be a pool of resources that will serve content with other computers. So um, you can see how they're all kind of connected with each other. And this helps the smaller platforms expose and push out their content and videos to, um, to people that wouldn't normally see them. And there's no central point of control, which is why working together has helped the smaller uh, 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 websites, websites, which you can see there's no like central hub for controlling all this. They're all kind of connected to, to, to each other. And my question that I'll be asking is, what does uh, CDN stand for, which is a content distribution network? My name is Nick. Thank you for uh, watching. And these are my slides.